So instead of being the type of person that is just complaining about everything, why don't you try to take the initiative and be a positive example in your home? Consider another story. There was a boy whose name was Tim, and he noticed his younger brother struggling with his homework. Instead of ignoring it, he spent a few minutes each day helping him understand the assignment. Over time, his brother's grades improved and their bond grew stronger. So Tim's actions spoke louder than any words of encouragement could ever do. As Paul said in Galatians 6 and verse number 9, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Proverbs 20 verse 11 says this, even a child is known by his deeds, whether what he does is pure and right. A good example of action speaking louder than words is the example that Jesus gives in Luke 10 and verse 30. A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a certain priest came down the road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at that place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged him, and he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. On the next day, when he departed, he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And he said, He who showed mercy on him. Then Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Sometimes we are like the Levite and the priest when it comes to our family. We see them hurting or needing help, but we ignore them and we just worry about ourselves. When we do that, we show that by our inaction, that we really don't care or appreciate our family. But when we act like the Good Samaritan and we take the time to be there for our family, even though it might cost us some time and effort, it shows that we love our family. Now imagine a girl named Emma who was always cheerful and she was willing to help out. Her positive attitude was very contagious and it created a pleasant environment at home. Her siblings and parents, they felt encouraged by her joyful spirit and it brought the family closer together.